Hey guys, welcome to Kluji Tech Time. I'm David, and this right here is the DJI Smart Controller. Now I use the DJI Smart Controller to fly my DJI Mavic 2 Pro most of the time. It's my preferred device for flying, but it's not perfect. One of the things that it's not perfect about is that DJI doesn't release updates automatically for the DJI Go 4 application on the Smart Controller near as often as they do on your phone or on your tablet. For instance, on DJI Go 4 for iOS or Android, it's very easy to go to the App Store and just say, here, update it, and you'll get the most recent one. And they update it every few weeks. However, here on the Smart Controller, you actually have to go and find it and go download it and install it. So I'm gonna walk you through that process so that you can get the latest updates. For instance, the most recent update for the Mavic 2 Pro implements a new feature for the battery in terms of allowing you to change how many days before the battery auto discharges. But with the older version of DJI Go 4 that's on the smart controller, you can't make that change. And so a lot of people have been asking for a way to be able to update it on here. And so I'm gonna walk you through that process right here. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here, this bottom right icon to take you into the list of apps. And we're gonna go into settings and we're just gonna verify that we're connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot. In this case, I already am, so I don't have to do anything. But if you're not, you need to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi so that you can access the internet. So let's just go back. We're gonna go into the Lightning browser here. And in the browser, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna to go to www.dji.com slash mobile slash downloads. So I'll leave you a link down in the uh, description below and I can't type here, downloads, and I'm gonna hit go. And this is gonna bring you to the DJI Download Center. And specifically what we're looking for is right here, the DJI apps. Once I go in there, I've got the DJI Go 4 and I'm gonna click on that. And then that brings up this screen and you've got two options. We can't really use the first option without a lot of work. I know some people have maybe got this to work, but uh, most people are just going to want to download the Android APK. So this allows you to download this directly from DJI without having to go to an app store or some uh, you know, scary third-party service that you don't know what you're gonna get. So right here, we can download this file and we're gonna confirm and say download it. Now you can see over here in the top left corner, this arrow that's sitting here moving, that's indicating that the file is currently downloading. We're gonna wait for that to go solid. Uh, that'll mean that the file will be completely downloaded. Now the file is about 250 megabytes, so depending upon your the speed of your internet connection, uh, you know, it take, may take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to download, uh, hopefully not much longer than that. So once this turns to a solid arrow here, then we're gonna switch over to the file manager and go find that file and we're going to uh, install it. Okay, so we can see that now the arrow is solid so we know that we've downloaded it. So now we're just gonna switch back to our uh, other screen. Uh, so the easiest way to get out of here is you can hold down this button here and once you hold it down then you can see there's some shortcuts for how to uh, get around. The easiest way is use the 5D button, so hold down the left button and then hold, move the, the 5D button to the right to, just to get back to the apps. So you'll see that it took us here. You can use this button for several different things. If you do this, it'll bring up your recent applications and different things. But if you just hold it down and go to the right, that'll take you back here, which is where we wanna go. We wanna go to the file manager here. So I'll click on that. And then we wanna go to downloads. So we downloaded the DJI version 3.25, the APK. So we just downloaded that. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then it's gonna go through the process of actually installing it after I verify that yes, I do wanna install it. And it's it's saying your existing data will not be lost. So you shouldn't lose any, any settings or lose anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click install here. And it's gonna go through the process of putting all the stuff in the right place. And then once this is done installing after a minute or so, then, it's, then we're just gonna go ahead and launch it. And I'm just gonna show you that we can see that we've got 4.3.25 which is the most recent version. So I'll click open here. And if it's the first time that you've installed 4.3.25, it'll go through like a resource initialization and it'll take a little bit longer to launch it the first time. But after you do it the first time, it'll go pretty quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter device, enter the camera view. I don't have my drone turned on, so I'm not connected. I just wanna show you if I come up here and then go clear to the bottom to the about screen, 
we can see that I'm on version 4.3.25, which is the current version that's available for Android right now. This is the latest. Uh, if you guys are watching this at a later date, you might have a, a, a more recent version. But this is the one that's available for me right now as of recording this. And I've actually been using this for about three days now, and uh, I've flown... Uh, uh, multiple missions, multiple flights on multiple different days, and everything's worked for me. I obviously haven't tested everything exhaustively, but the things that I do on a regular basis have all just just worked just fine, including the ability to change the uh, the battery settings uh, for the new Mavic 2 firmware update. So that's all there is to it. It's really actually super simple. It's a, another step or two beyond what you have to do if you have just an iOS or uh, or Android on your phone, but super simple. Hope that worked for you guys. Uh, if you guys give this a try, let me know. Does, did it work for you? Do you have any problems for it? Leave us a comment down in the description below so everybody else knows how it's working for you. If you enjoyed this content or it was useful for you, I'd love for you to hit that like and subscribe buttons down below. Hope you have a great day and uh, hope to catch you on another one soon. Ciao. Life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we wait.